Everybody, welcome into the Wager Talk TV YouTube channel. I'm Tony Mejia from sportsmemo.com. We're going to be talking about the gold medal match from Paris in the men's basketball tournament. The United States looking to win a fifth straight gold. France looking to win for the first time, and they will have a raucous home court advantage uh, trying to score the upset of all upsets and prevent the U.S. from winning one more time. And this will be the fourth time that these teams have met in a gold medal game, including the Tokyo Olympics just three years ago where the U.S. got the better of France. Uh, they've also beaten them in 2000 and back way back in 1948. So uh, the U.S. a perpetual thorn in the French side, and we'll see if that happens again. The match will be played on Saturday evening in France, Saturday afternoon here in the United States, 3.30 p.m. Uh, you can watch it on NBC. And the U.S. opened as a 16.5-point favorite, now down to minus 16, total set at 176.5 or 176, depending on where you shop. Team USA is a minus 1450 money line favorite, and uh, France, to pull the upset, will get you back plus 850. That's eight and a half times your investment if Victor Wembanyama can lead the French to a huge upset of the U.S. And obviously it can be done, uh, given that the U.S. was on the ropes against Serbia, trailing by as many as 17 points, trailing for much of the Thursday afternoon contest. Uh, but uh, everybody on the U.S. team, all the closers, ended up stepping up to prevent uh, what would have been a very disappointing result. LeBron James ended up with a triple-double. Steph Curry, two points off of uh, Carmelo Anthony's uh, all-time single-game scoring record. He finished with 36. And uh, then you saw huge baskets from Joel Embiid down the stretch, in addition to uh, what Devin Booker was able to do. And uh, just everybody stepped up, including, obviously, Kevin Durant, the all-time leading scorer in men's basketball U.S. Olympic history. Uh, making a huge shot, uh, got to his spot, rose up for about an 18-footer uh, to seal the deal uh, with uh, the French, uh, pardon me, with the Serbians still uh, trying to make waves there in the final 30 seconds of action. Then Steph Curry sealed the deal at the free throw line. So that's where we're at. Everybody feeling good about themselves for the U.S. As far as France is concerned, they've pulled off back-to-back -back upsets. They were expected to lose to undefeated Canada and beat them. They were down in the first quarter uh, significantly. It looked like they were going to get wiped off the floor by Germany, ended up riding the ship and uh, winning that game by dominating the last three quarters uh, and really took it to the Germans who were the defending FIBA World Cup champions and uh, showed off a lot of chemistry with Dennis Schroeder leading the way and uh, Franz and Mo Wagner from the Orlando Magic. Daniel Tice, so a lot of NBA players on that German roster. They were used to winning. They were expected to win. Did not happen. And certainly the sixth man that is uh, what France has going on at uh, their arena there in uh, in Paris served to uh, benefit them. Uh, and now they'll look to do so once again um, against the United States, which has not played France since beating them in that final back in 2021. Uh, and they won that game. It, it, you can draw some uh, parallels from that game because Kevin Durant was on board. So were Devin Booker and Jason Tatum, who did not play against Serbia, but I expect will show up and be a factor off the Steve Kerr's bench in this gold medal match, considering that he had uh, one of his best games at the previous Olympics against France in that gold medal game, led the United States in plus minus and scored 19 points in 21 minutes. So I think he'll be in the mix here. We'll see who else is. Maybe Anthony Edwards uh, minutes get sacrificed to play Tatum a little more. I think you still need Drew Holiday and Derek White for stretches to play a little defense. But uh, decisions are being made and guys are being sacrificed. Vincent Collette of the French side has sacrificed Rudy Gobert. He's not playing him as much. He's played in just eight minutes over the last two wins. So clearly he's not complaining, even though he'd love to be out there, has not scored, has grabbed two rebounds. That's been the bulk of his contributions. I would imagine that he'll be on the floor a little more in this game, uh, but that remains to be seen. Is, uh, what's working for France is team defense, switching, being physical, 
uh, and slowing games down. And I, I think that is the system that they'll employ to try to play giant killer against the United States. Currently, you've seen Gershon Yubiseli uh, be a, the, the breakout star for the French at these Olympics. Yabuseli was the uh, 16th pick in the 2016 draft, went to the Boston Celtics. It didn't pan out. He's currently playing at Real Madrid in Spain. They've also gotten great comp- contributions from Isaiah Cordinier, who plays in Italy for Vitus Bologna uh, and uh, has really been a nice two-way player for the French. They've also got uh, you know, uh, key players in Frank Nilakina, who we know in the NBA as a top defender. He's playing a lot of uh, a point guard for them. Uh, they've got other guys that have been drafted in the NBA, uh, Nando DiColo, Andrew Albisi, uh, who are guards that can also play and may find their way in this game. Colette really hasn't established much of a guard rotation uh, outside of Evan Fournier playing a lot of minutes and taking a lot of key shots. He'll be in the mix, probably off the bench. Uh, Nicholas Batum will be out there pro- uh, for the bulk of this. Uh, probably will be on LeBron James duty. Uh, maybe a little Steph Curry to give him a bigger look. And uh, and at this point, I think you'll see a lot of Batum. If he can give you anything on the offensive end, then uh, you'll see uh, Batum really be the X factor here as the uh, French try to pull this upset. But it's all about Victor Wembanyama for them. Uh, he is the key cog in what they can accomplish uh, both on the defensive end and stifling the U.S. at the rim and on the offensive side since the offense has been flowing through him uh, in the high post and you know getting guys out to the perimeter. Did not shoot the ball well at all against Germany, but uh, even just being out there as a matchup, matchup mismatch uh, gives the French the best chance that they have. So the United States team total in this game is 96 and a half. For France, it's 79 and a half. The first half spread is the U.S. minus nine. Uh, and one thing to keep an eye out on is, uh, regard- is, is the, the crowd factor and how the U.S. Uh, with a true road atmosphere. So I will not touch the first half, but I think ultimately the United States pulls away and wins this contest by a significant margin. So I'm going to lay the 16 points with the U.S. I think uh, they're just too deep for this French squad. And keep this in mind, once the game is at hand with maybe a 15-point game uh, within the last five minutes, then you'll see the guys that haven't played a bunch try to show out because this is the final game of the Olympics. What do they have to lose? I think that is when the U.S. depth really comes to fruition and putting away the French and winning this game by 20 plus. So that's our play here on the Wager Talk TV YouTube channel. We like the United States to cover 16 points and win a fifth straight gold medal by eliminating the French, uh, eliminating them and giving them a silver medal. Smash that like button and uh, be sure that you're subscribed to all our videos here at Wager Talk TV so you never miss a call. And also follow me on Twitter at Mejia Dinero and check out my page at sm.buzz slash TDM for all of my package information and some free plays that you can get there. Once again, we're back in the United States, laying the 16 Saturday afternoon. Don't miss out and uh, make sure that you are tuned in to Wager Talk TV for the rest of your summer in the football. I'm Tony Mejia. Have a wonderful, profitable weekend. Thanks for watching.